this young man comes up to me, and he's this huge guy. He's like obvious jock, you know, kind of like oompa loompas towards me. He's got like muscles that don't even exist on my body, you know. He's just like no neck, you know, that guy. Some guy named Biff or Brick. I don't remember, all right, you know. So he walks over, and he's like, man, I got to talk to you, dude. And I'm like, okay. So we sit down together by the side of the stage, and as soon as we sit down, this guy just starts crying. And I'm not talking about crying like a cool cry, like a guy cries. You know, some guys, like, you'll cry, and it's a cool cry. You know what I'm talking about, girls? Like, you know, you're on a date, and it's like a chick flick, and, and it's just kind of emotional, and he just kind of, like, sheds a little tear, and you're like, oh, he's sensitive. You know, and it's just kind of cool. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, I'm talking about, like, when he's crying more than you, and he's like, Let's rent the notebook again. And you're like, freak. You know, I'm talking about that. I, I'm talking about, <laughs> remember when you were a kid and you cried so hard you couldn't breathe and you were like, <gasps> and everybody around you is like, inhale, inhale. All right, that kind of crying. So this, this big old dude, he sits right by me and he just starts crying. And, and I'm just watching him cry and he's just like, just going, <laughs> he's hyperventilating, you know. And, and I'm not the best counselor. I'm kind of a prophetic guy, you know, you know I, I'm kind of like a preacher, and, and I usually let the counseling happen by other people because I'm really blunt. So, you know, if you walk up to me during this weekend and you're like, David, pray for me. My parents are going through a divorce. I'll be like, gum. I mean, I'm just bad, all right? It's the bad counselor. And <laughs> plus, I'm just real blunt. You know, if you're like, David, I'm struggling with porn, I'm like, burn your TV. Burn your, you know, give up the way. I'm like, turn off your computer. Don't have a computer. Like, to me, it's like real black and white. Not Michael Jackson right in between. When he, you know, I'm just real. Like, what? So, you know, so I'm a bad counselor. That's not good. No, 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 no. Stop it. That's not good because, because people have to have a process. That's what youth pastors are there for, right? And to help you process or whatever that means. All right? So, for me, I'm from Iran. I just go jihad on you. I'm like, give it up. You know, so people are like, no. It's bad. So, this guy's sitting beside me, and he's like, David, I don't know what to do. He's just crying. And, and so I'm just sitting there watching him cry. And, and so I just sat there, and I just watched him cry. Now, that might sound insensitive, but I got to tell you, I think sometimes the best thing that could happen to you is for you to struggle. Sometimes we just see somebody struggle at Christian events like this, and we're just quick to give them a Christian shoulder rub and sing Friends Are Friends or Kumbaya or put our hands around them and go, come on. We just want them to, like, quit struggling. It's not that God is punishing people when they struggle. It's just that Jesus loves us enough sometimes to confront us with such radical truth that it hurts. 